Team 12's Rachel Cole joining us live from Superior Court this morning where that arraignment is set for 9 a.m. Rachel. Yeah, not too long from now, guys. Good morning to you. A lot of eyes on this case simply because it's not often that someone like a longtime corrections director ends up on the other side of the law. But in Charles Ryan's case, he is facing two dangerous felony offenses involving weapons. Investigators say during that hours long standoff with Tempe police, Ryan pointed a gun at officers who then fired a beanbag round at him. Ryan then retreated into his home. And although he was taken to the hospital for a hand injury, he was never taken to jail. Potential charges were initially pending for quite some time. That, as the new Maricopa County attorney, Rachel Mitchell, took over all pending cases, deciding which of those to prosecute. Meanwhile, family said Ryan had allegedly consumed half a bottle of tequila, something his wife says he'd been doing nightly following his retirement from Arizona Corrections Director. That was in 2019, following reports of problems with broken prison cell locks that put both corrections officers and inmates at risk. We are doing introspection. Charles, what, drop the gun! Again, Ryan was never booked into jail. He was taken to the hospital for that hand injury. Meanwhile, police officers confiscated roughly 15 guns from his home following that January 6th incident. Now, if convicted, Ryan would face mandatory prison time. That could be anywhere from 18 months to three years. So we'll keep our eyes on this developing case. We're live in downtown Phoenix. Rachel Cole, Today in AZ, guys. Okay, Rachel, thank you. We'll be following all those developments this morning.